The band Tenariwan hails from the deserts of Mali in North Africa. Its sound blends ancient Saharan instruments with electric guitars and has earned the band devoted fans around the world. During a recent U.S. tour, however, band members experienced a darker side of America. Before a North Carolina show, they received a barrage of Islamophobic comments on social media. But as producer Ali Rogan reports, the city of Winston-Salem banded together to give them a warm welcome. The story is part of our ongoing arts and culture coverage, Canvas. <laughs> The band Tenari Wen may have traveled far for this show, but it's on this stage where these musicians are most at home. They hardly speak any English, but here in North Carolina, they feel that their every word is understood. Music is one of those things in life where there are no barriers or borders. And as musicians, this is what gives us the courage to travel very far away from our Sahara Desert. Tenari Wen's members are Tuaregs, an ethnic group from all across the Sahara Desert. They're nomads who lay down musical rather than physical roots. The band's music follows a rich Tuareg lyrical tradition, gone electric. And they're rock stars in their own right, sharing stages with Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin, Carlos Santana, and U2's Bono. The story of Tenariwen follows the story of the Tuareg people. Until 1960, the Tuareg enjoyed autonomy in the north under French colonial rule. But then a series of dictators took control and subjected the Tuaregs to persecution, seizing their ancestral lands. Many fled to neighboring countries. Tenariwen's founders were among them. They met in an Algerian refugee camp in 1979. Abdallah Ag Al Husseini plays guitar. Our music was born out of this reality of exile, hardships, and suffering. They moved to Libya to join a Tuareg military unit led by then dictator Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, who provided them some freedom. But Tanari Wen fought with their guitars, not guns. They sang about their people's struggle for freedom in their ancestral land called Azawad. We are from Azawad. Our identity is our Tuareg origin, and our goal for our country takes precedence over absolutely everything. But none of that mattered to a few dozen people on Facebook who saw a post promoting the show and responded with hate. Any true American will not support this bunch of trash, let them perform in their own country, said one poster. Look like terrorists to me, no way, wrote another. One even threatened to bring his rifle to the show. <laughs> Singer <laughs> Al-Hassan Agtuhami <laughs> responds to the hate <laughs> with humor. Have they ever seen a terrorist sing a song? People who make music are not terrorists. They are actually persecuted by terrorists. <laughs> Tunariwen knows that firsthand. When Islamist extremists took control of their native northern Mali in 2012, Tenari Wen refused to obey the extremists' music ban. One band member was briefly kidnapped. We know that some people in the U.S. say wrong and negative things about us, but we do not feel anything about them because they are wrong. And most people in Winston-Salem would agree. Wake Forest University senior Yasmin Shaltau grew up here after her family left Egypt when she was two years old. I'm constantly surrounded by people that are very welcoming. She's watched the Muslim community here grow just within her lifetime. They used to get together at a local house um, and then the church space was bought and converted into a mosque. We've added a new building for a Sunday school. So that expansion is even viewed in like the physical expansion of space to accommodate more people. But that expansion in the Tar Heel State has created tension. In 2015, a man in nearby Chapel Hill murdered three college students, all Muslims. Schaltout said it was a reminder that there is still some bigotry in her backyard. So I do feel that sometimes my community is like a bubble and like it's been sheltered from um, all of these other terrible acts we see going on so close by. But in this area, hate against a few is mourned by the many. 
after an anti-Muslim terrorist killed 51 people in a New Zealand mosque in March. Non-Muslims filled a local Islamic center here to show solidarity with their neighbors. And they did the same before the Tenari Wen show at the Ramcat Club. This venue typically doesn't have a police presence, but because of some of the threatening messages the band received, the Ramcat decided to step up security. But as you can see, folks are still lining up outside, and the Ramcat says ticket sales for a Tuesday night are higher than usual. Honestly, if you didn't buy tickets and you didn't give these people money, they'd have no reason to care about what you're saying anyway. These are excellent musicians, peace-loving people, who have a long tradition of making music, great music. Before the show, city council members joined the managers of the venue to declare it Tanari one day. We are happy that you are here. We're happy that you have chosen to be here this night. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper wrote a letter welcoming them, and local musicians like Ryan McLeod recorded cover versions of Tanari Wen songs. I think everybody has experienced outrage fatigue where you don't know what to do. And so here was something we could do to show that this isn't who we are in this town. Tanari Wen has always believed in the power of musical camaraderie. Their new album, Amajar, features American artists, including Cass McCombs and Micah Nelson, the son of Willie. There is this brotherhood, automatic friendship and acceptance between musicians. It lets us bond as soon as we meet each other. Their album title means foreign traveler. The songs champion universal values, love, brotherhood and freedom. In their case, freedom for the Tuareg themselves. All around the world, their songs of longing for a lost homeland have opened doors. We keep asking ourselves how it is possible that people who do not understand us or our culture, very far from our reality, can warmly welcome and support us. Words can't possibly explain how great we feel about that. Tanari Wen's new album is named for a foreign traveler, but here they were welcomed as native sons. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Allie Rogan in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And what a great story.